some guys next up here. Update on the white truck. It's running right now. Just took it for a drive. We're gonna go on a drive in a second here. Only the front brakes work because the back brakes are shot. But yeah, we'll check out the motor. Thought I could reuse it, but it's cracked and it's leaking. So that's something to replace. Other than that, she runs like a charm. It's got fresh oil in her, new filter down in there. Go for a drive. It shouldn't overheat, just that little bit leaking. So yeah, let's go for a little testy poo. Oops. I didn't mean to turn those on. Big red. It's got a little exhaust leak though. I noticed that. So yeah, brakes don't work worth the crap. They go all the way to the floor. Watch this. And we're still kind of rolling, but it does accelerate good. Sounds like shit though, huh? That exhaust leak. So yeah, attack work, attack, speedo works. Got a little bit of play in the steering. Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. Let's see if the blinkers work. No, no blinker. Got the left one. Yeah, it kind of works. No right one. Oh yeah, the right one works. It's just a little doodad here. Okay. It should have four-wheel drive, but it doesn't. Which sucks. So I have no brakes, so I'm not gonna stop at this stop sign. I just burned out in this truck. This thing's got power, that's for sure. You drop her down into first or second gear, and it'll work good. As you can see, the check engine light's on, the ABS light is on, and the brake light is on, <coughs> because everything is broke. <laughs> so yeah, this is just a test drive, see how good it drives, and it drives pretty good. And the brakes do somewhat stop it, you gotta go out wide to make this turn. That lovely exhaust vibration. So, let's pull it down into the driveway. The pond got a lot of water in it. A little island. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a new one of them things that's messed up in the front there. And then fix that crap. This is gonna be a pain backing up through there. Let's see if we can do it. This beeper's gonna go off. Yep. Oh, this is a pain in the ass. There we go. That's all there is to it. Let's go see how that leaks. Going. Probably still leaking. Uh, uh, it's not too bad. It's dried up, if anything. You can see it right there. I thought I could fix it, but little dribbles coming out. This thing sure does get hot fast. So yeah. What have I been up to? Radiator's not too hot. It's probably all plugged up. Kind of. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be, uh, let me zoom out a little. We'll be doing some, uh, 
killer update videos on this piece of crap. Let me show you something you're really going to love. Get this window rolled up here and shut it off. The uh, gas tank. We put it on, right? Well, if you didn't know, it's still just held on by a tie down and a bungee cord. It's just hanging. Yeah. And the mounts for the straps that go on this thing are gone. There's no strap mount. You know, there's a gas tank strap, and then the gas tank strap mounts to something. They're gone. So I'm going to have to make something. Which sucks, but it can be done. So that's coming up. The gas, tank, gas tank's like totally crooked. It's got a lot of gas in it, though, so that's good. We're not going to run out. And I painted this side, the fender, with some spray paint, and I missed this one spot because it ran out. It used to look like that. Now it looks like that. And this was all rusted out, and I painted it. It doesn't look too bad. White paint is the easiest paint to paint. So we're just going to hit the whole truck with white paint, because it's easy. So yeah. We got her running. Drove her. That's what's up. Now what we got to do, with Big Red here, we got a major problem. Bearings are out. Thing knocks like a son of a gun. So we can hear it. And it's got a horrible miss. It's not warmed up yet, but it's getting there. So we're gonna pull the motor, flip her over, and put in new rod bearings, connecting bearings, main bearings, crank. I don't know about the camshaft, it's probably fine. And uh, probably new rods and lifters, because those are 30 years old too. 30 year old motor. I'm surprised they haven't gone already. So yeah, that's the problem with Big Red. It smells like a dang chainsaw when it's running. So yeah, we got the white truck, it runs, and Big Red. There's probably some footage missing in here. I don't know how far back it stopped, but yeah, we drove the white truck. There's the little gas tank from the rear, rotted out. So, I'm gonna get rid of it. You got a new gas tank in there. So yeah, pull the engine on this guy, gonna be driving it. So yeah. Danix 11, I'll see you in the next one.